All right, back on this series of called Alamo Lake. I started down here in Tonopah, uh, near West Indian School Road. Today, we are going to be crossing over this canal, and then we end up near a mine. It's called Tonopah Belmont Mine. It's a really cool-looking mine. The road got a little bit technical, and yeah, in this series, we are headed all the way up to Alamo Lake. So let's get to the live action of this section today. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. After stopping out and checking out some of the local areas, we're gonna get back on the road. Yeah, I flew my drone over there to the canal to try to see where the bridge crossing was. But it's just a little bit too far away. Got a chance to stop and hydrate. Which is nice. I always want to stay hydrated out here. think about a Phoenix to Vegas BDR trip, you know? I think it would be really cool. Stay a day or so in Vegas, see some sights and sounds, try your luck at the blackjack table, ride pavement back home. That's what I'm trying to put together here. Not sure exactly where I want it to start. I don't know if I want it to start out here in Goodyear. I want to be able to see, you know. So we're gonna go to the right. I want to be able to see cool things along the way. Not just all be boring dirt road, you know, even though I love boring dirt road. Because it's easy. And you're still seeing nature and things that you're not normally seeing in the city. Oh, I'm seeing fences all over near that canal. Oh, there's a road, kind of. Yeah, there's a road and a bridge. There's trails all over out here. Oh, all right, guys. We got over this big, huge canal. And we're on our route, which is cool. Gravel dirt road. No fences though, which is nice. It's kind of rutted. When I pictured Arizona and the desert and the desert southwest, 
this is exactly what I imagined. Just kind of flat, like I didn't even imagine these hills, but just flat nothingness. Desert, rocky road that just goes on and on. This is the kind of stuff I really enjoy riding. Probably gonna time lapse a little bit for you guys until we get closer to that mountain. fork in the road. Gotta check the map. Looks like we're gonna go right. I don't know guys, we're getting closer to these mountains. When you get closer to mountains, trail tends to get a little hairier and go up and down, left and right. Oh, looks like we got a little bit of technical. my channel for the first time you're on this video for some weird reason you're gonna hear me refer to my last turkey creek ride because it's still like real fresh in my mind and I think it made me a much better rider like I would have been usually more freaked out at stuff like that but not this time cattle guard okay we've still been getting a lot of rain lately puddles out here which are unusual it's real loose gravel but there's no big boulders there's a couple of sharp jagged pinch flat looking rocks but they don't look that bad hawk out there I don't know if you guys can see him wait for me to mess up so we can have some dinner. So that's nice. At least my body will be recycled. Oh man. I see a road way up on a hill. I think it's a road. I'm not sure. Roads like this, they're always just kind of troubling because you're just heading straight into the mountains. <coughs> When do I start climbing? When do I start dropping in elevation? Do I just tunnel through the mountain? You know, that's, you guys ever wonder about that kind of thing? Oh yeah, I get a little technical. Just a little bit. This is exactly what happens to me every time. I set out to try to find a nice boring dirt road from point A to point B. And sure enough, they all start out that way. But like anything, they just turn to this muck. Yeah, 
past you, I normally would have freaked out a little bit more back there too. I've been getting better, I've been improving my riding skills. It's a cool trail so far. It's not too challenging. I would almost call it big bike friendly. I mean, you'd have to be intermediate. I wouldn't big bike ride this as a brand new rider. Oh yeah, nice. Rock climbing section. Oh yeah, picked up the front wheel on that one. Yeah guys, I'm getting better. I would have been freaked out by that section in the past. But just hit it, you know, lean forward on the bike. I apologize for referencing Turkey Creek Trail so many times, but just bear with me and have some patience. I really wish, really wish I would have ridden that one rock crawling part. Like, I haven't even started editing that series yet, but I just skimmed through some of my videos to make sure and see, you know, that I had all the footage, because if I would have lost that footage, I would have cried. And I do have all the footage and it's backed up and we're everything's safe. But even just skimming through that footage, I was like, man, I should sure have just ridden it. But I didn't. Hey, looks like we got some cool rock formations up here. I don't know if they're like little houses or what. Oh wow! They are like little houses. Well, this other section, I don't know what is up here. A big mining operation? You gotta pay attention to the road. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I don't think it's like houses and stuff. It's some kind of old concrete structure. Let me get um, somewhere where I can safely put the bike down and we'll see. It says there's something on the map, but let me let me get up here further. the bike right here. Let's put the drone up guys. Let's see what we can see.